Hey guys, I'm Ferdi Gaskin. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to use responses in your Laravel projects. So a response is basically what you expect from the server. For example, you click a link for the about page on a website and you expect to be shown an about page. So in Laravel, you can do the same with a couple of different methods. So we'll continue with our previous project. I have mine right here, the Laravel blogs. And I'll go to the terminal and uh, do my work over there. CD documents, CD workspace, and CD Laravel blogs. So we'll start off with a simple basic response. Let's go to web.php. So I'm going to add a new route. To show how easy it is to create a basic response. So route get and I'm going to type something as basic response and function so in this function we're going to return something to the user And there we have it, easy as pie. Okay, we'll go to terminal and do php artisan serve. Okay, server so started. So we'll go to localhost 8000. And we're going to request a basic response oops ah okay sorry my bad save it and try again and there you have it hello world okay so besides the basic response we can also add a header to our response so I'm going to terminate this batch for now We'll see and let's get back to our editing so I'm going to add a new route but this time it's gonna have some extra info added to it by way of a header so we'll call this header function so we're going to return something to the user and instead of just a normal response this response can be formatted so we're going to type hello to 100 Type. So we're going to define the type of the response as a web content. Okay, save, don't forget to save. And let's uh, run our service once more. So this time, we're going to go to localhost 8000 slash header. So let's change the link to header. And there you have it. Right, so we've seen our 
response with a header so instead of just a header you can also add a cookie to it so let's terminate our session and let's go back to editing and we're going to add a new line so this time it's about adding a cookie Okay, that's basically it save and run All right so you'll notice that the display is still hello but in actual fact we have registered a new cookie with the name name and the value is Faris Gaskin which is my name Now you might be wondering what else can be added into our response well how about json so let's see how json can be implemented into our response uh, let's terminate the session for now go back to editing and let's get back to web.php now this time we're going to add a new route Method get and we're going to call it JSON. You can, if you want to, to skip the slash, but I guess I'll just stick to the slash. Oh, sorry. Here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Should be here. Okay. So we'll, we'll return a response. Fonts. And we'll send a JSON. With an array, we'll start with a name, my name, so my name is Paris Gaskin, and state Kuala Lumpur. So if you haven't been to Malaysia yet, if you haven't been to Kuala Lumpur, then I would suggest come over. If you love fusion food, if you love Asian food, this is the place to be. Okay, so we have everything over here and I set my colon, save, and let's try it out. Okay, so we'll type localhost 8000 slash json and there you are your json response okay so that's it for now if you like this video don't forget to click the subscribe button and see you guys later in my next tutorials thanks for watching